it's been a little while since I've done any type of music tutorial, and a lot of people have been asking uh, questions regarding to how I do some things. And one of the programs I haven't really done any tutorials on, but I've been using a lot lately in creating music, is a program called Sequence 24. This is it right here. It's a MIDI sequencer. And I really like it for making little MIDI loops that I can uh, then, you know, it has a little bit of a song editor here as well. Instead of going through like a technical tutorial here, uh, at this point, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to try to make a song and explain what I'm doing, and you guys can see my thought process, and hopefully it doesn't suck too bad. Now, I did already make a drum beat in Hydrogen, uh, which I've done many tutorials on, so I didn't, you know, show you me making that, but the files will be in the link in the description of this to the Hydrogen uh uh, well, all the stuff I'm creating today will be in the link in the first description. Um, but uh, I've already created the drum beat, and we're going to export it as MIDI from Hydrogen and import the MIDI into Sequence 24, and then just link it back out to Hydrogen so that we have good timing. First things first, my song uh, is going to be uh, 90 beats per minute. So I'm just going to set this right here, beats per minute, 90. Okay. Uh, next, I'm going to right click here and I'm going to actually I'm going to go up here and go import and I'm going to go to I'm calling this song universal sample and in here should be a MIDI file. Did I save it to the wrong place? Let me save it again. Export MIDI drums save. There it is. I just guess I didn't save it before. Okay. And I'll click open. Now this is more than just a single loop. It's it's a pretty long, almost entire song drum loop, but it'll loop for as long as I want it to. So at this point, I can uh, click on this and say edit. And right here, uh, sequence 24 works with Jack uh, Jack D, but for some reason it doesn't really show up in Patch or other Jack D interfaces. But all you have to do here is click up here, and I'm going to connect this output to uh, Hydrogen. And now, if we go back to our main window here, click on it so it's highlighted there and press play. Okay, so we got our drum beat there. Now, uh, I also have Z-Wine Add Sub Effect. I'm going to use Z-Wine Add Sub Effect for the rest of the instruments. Uh, I've already picked uh, one instrument for the... Uh, uh, first instrument here, I think, yeah, sub delay is what I picked. This is what it sounds like. I've got that uh, through Jack D. I got my hydrogen, uh, or my, sorry, my oxygen uh, USB keyboard hooked into ZYN add sub effect. Um, so I'm going to press play and see if I can, sometimes I just draw patterns in uh, the sequencer, and sometimes I try to play stuff on the keyboard and see how it sounds. Um, so let's go ahead back to here and I'm going to press play and just uh, play around on the keyboard a little bit and see what I can come up with. MIDI keyboard, um, which I do for some things if I want to give it a little more of a, a human feel to it. Uh, but in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to write out those notes uh, s and so that they're better timed, uh, all depending on the feel you're going for. First things first, uh, if you missed that, I right clicked on an empty spot here and clicked new. Uh, something I, I quite often forget if you've looked at my project files, because every song I make, I upload all the project files, so make sure to check the description of my music videos for the files. Uh, but I very, I'm very bad about uh, labeling stuff, so we'll just call this sub, what was that instrument called in ZYN add sub effect? Sub delay. So we'll just call it sub delay. You don't have to name things, it just it's probably a good idea. Next, I'm going to make sure I'm going to hook it to the output here. And uh, this is the channel output. And in this case, uh, this is our first instrument on our first channel. So we're going to leave that at one. I do want this to be uh, uh, two bars in length. So I'm going to click this. By default, it was one. I'm going to set it to two. And uh, the notes I was playing. Also, if you uh, click here and set this to major, 
you can uh, you get little bars here so you can see where uh, you're lining up with stuff. Also, both those notes were full uh, full notes, so note length, we're going to set this to one. And to draw notes in here, you're going to find out you can click over here, you know, on the keyboard here, uh, to find the notes you want, and I think I was actually here, or it might have been up here, I was drawing. So we're going to, you have to right click, gives you the uh, little um, pencil there, and then left click to draw the note. And that's the other note, and then I did this. So now, uh, this little button down here uh, enables that track. As you can see, if I go back to the main interface, it's now black. Uh, you can also click on it here to enable it. But let's hear how that sounds. <laughs> So I'm liking that, and obviously right now we're just making the loops, and later on we'll put it into the song editor and decide when the instruments come in and go out. So I'm going to right-click here, I'm going to say New. Uh, I'm going to connect this to ZYN Add Sub Effect and say Second Channel here. Also, uh, we have already set this to Major. You notice there's no lines here. If you just scroll a little bit, the lines appear. That's just a little bit of a glitch there. Um, and next, we're just going to go back to ZYN Add Sub Effect going to click to our next instrument, enable it, it's already default to channel 2, next we're going to pick the instrument we want, um, so I click here and see how that sounds. Okay, and I'm just uh, making up stuff as I go along, I'm going to draw some notes, see how that sounds, maybe change the instrument after that, but um, at this point I can actually press play here. And uh, I'm going to change this to a half note, I think. Copy. I'm going to paste it in here. Once again, I hope the volume levels are okay. I hope you can hear me and the music and not one too loud or too low. You can enable that and edit it. And right now, it's still connected to ZY and add some effect, but it's still connected to the same channel. I'm going to change it to channel 3 and enable instrument 3 on channel 3 and choose something. So there we go on this to make sure you can hear me. So right now I've got four loops going. I get the drum beat, uh, my one sub delay, and then two other instruments using the same notes. Um, and if we open up the uh, panel window here in ZYN add sub effect, we can press play and you can see how each instrument's going. And since these two are playing the same notes with different instruments, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to adjust the left and right fades, so it's left and right uh, speaker channels a little bit so that they're kind of separate a little bit. So let's go ahead and hit play and see how that sounds. Okay, I'm liking this so far. Sometimes what I do too, and let's see how this sounds, I'm going to right click this and say copy on the drum beats here. I'm going to paste it in there and edit it. And obviously it's a hydrogen, that's our drum beat, but sometimes I'll take that. And add some effect. And uh, right here it's on channel 10 is default drum track. Uh, so I'm going to change that though to instrument 4. I'm going to enable instrument 4. And uh, choose something. And then uh, not forget to press this button so that we can hear that instrument. Okay. Sounds a little weird. We can play with this some now. So, 
that's basically the MIDI drum track, but being played uh, with this instrument of soft. Um, and by itself, it doesn't sound that good, but I like throwing stuff like that in the background. It gives a little more of a full feeling sometimes. Uh, but let's try a few other instruments. Sometimes these uh, instruments sound good as something like a xylophone, which isn't really like a, a synth, but more of a, I mean, it is synthesized, but very, um, uh, it's more of a percussion, I should say. Uh, and I think so far I like soft. And we can also, you know, I want it to be subtle, so we can also lower the volume of it here. So it's... It's something in the music that you don't really hear, but you do. I like to throw stuff like that in my songs. Okay, let's add some more stuff. New ZYM add some effects. Instrument five. Let's enable that. Choose something like fretless bass. are very subtle and uh, I, I like music like that myself you don't I, a lot of times you don't want too many instruments being too powerful so a lot of subtle stuff like the instrument I just added in you can barely hear uh, with the other instruments going but if I listen to it by myself 